Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Valorant stuck on a loading screen. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. Now the first thing that you want to do here is we want to ensure that we actually close all our Riot games or Valorant related games or processes and our PC. So go ahead and visit Task Manager or just hit on your keyboard Control Shift Escape to boot up Task Manager. Now from here, you need to look for a right client here and make sure that you end the task. Now from here, you just scroll down a bit until you see anything that is Valorant or Riot related. So here, as you can see, end this task. And once you're satisfied or you've closed any of the application here, you need to go to details again. And from here, you want to make sure that no Riot Games or Valorant is running in the purchases. So if you see anything, make sure that you close that, just click on it and just end task. Now, once you've done that, the next thing that you could do here is we want to make sure that we have the latest updates on our driver or display adapter. So here, let's go ahead and go to Windows Search. And here, you want to go to Device Manager. Open this up. And you want to look for Display Adapters. Open this up. And you want to right-click on your GPU here or your display here. And you want to go ahead and click on the Update Driver option. Now from here, you want to search automatically for drivers and see if there are any updates. So if there are any updates, make sure that you install that. And once the in updates are installed, the next thing that you can do here is you want to check if that solves your issue for Valorant. So if that does solve your issue, the next thing that you could do here is we want to repair our Valorant files. So go ahead and open up Riot Client and you want to go to your account or profile icon which is usually located at the top right in this section here. Just click on it and you want to go to settings. And here go to Valorant and you want to click on the repair option. Now from here, it's going to repair the game, but if you recently updated your game, it's going to say your game is up to date. But if it's start going to repair, just wait for the repair process to complete and see if that solves your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, the next thing and default thing that you could do here is to change a few things on the boot up process for Valorant. So in here, you want to right click on right client, you want to go to properties, and from here, you want to go to compatibility and you want to enable the setting that says run this program as administrator, click on apply and click on OK. Now from here, you need to look for Valorant. So I have Valorant here. Just right click on it, same thing. We want to go to properties, you know, go to compatibility and make sure that we run this program as administrator and just click on apply and okay. Now, once you've done that, see if that solves your issue and that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.